And the Australian forwards driving into that first ruck. And McDougall for Australia, very fierce in that ruck. And there's a violent hit. Hipple the blind side. And the winger Osborne, Osborne over the quarter line. Hipple again, but in touch. And that was a violent start by Australia. It was McDougall, the prop forward number one for Australia, who was really fiery in that ruck. It was McDougall, the prop forward number one for Australia, who was really fiery in that ruck. Well, it was very difficult to see why it was going on. Everything seemed to be quite clear, and McDougall was uh, thrashing away there. The referee couldn't see it. He was on the far side of that mall. Well, what a start to the <laughs> test match. My goodness. Gee, I'm glad I wasn't playing that particular match. It just looks so fierce. The game has changed, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must admit, we didn't get a lot of dollars in those days. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have been uh, two years suspension, Russ. Oh, oh, that these days. Send off material, but uh, like, like Brock said, it was one in all in. Yeah, but it was trick photography. I must admit <laughs> that uh, the, uh, the fellow on the ground at the time uh, did admit after the game that I didn't put the boot into him. It was just that he was on the wrong side of the cameras at the time. <laughs> but the next bit of action in the line-out, that's when it got exciting when they start to talk about convicts, you know, and we all know how we feel about that. Well, <laughs> take a look at this. Here's it happening in the line-out. Ray Price ball, and Peter Horton. Horton ball, two, Price seven. Here. Well, they didn't miss too many times, did they? No, well, no, I must admit. Pretty exciting moment, really. Oh, here comes Raymond. Number three against him is Mike Burton. What prompted it, Stu? The convict Lionel was just... No, I must admit, we're pretty fired up. I was uh, vice-captain on that day, and uh, Brock will, did give me a few moments with the forwards, and I thought a blue could be on. I wanted to make sure, I wanted to make sure the rest of them were with me. I'm just amazed that the English player was actually cautioned. By, by the cameras, it looked like, that Stu, that you were the starter of the whole thing. Uh, the instigator was Mike Burton. The cameras do uh, tell lies, uh, David, as you Is would know. Right? But what happened, uh, Mick gave me the Liverpool kiss after the uh, referee tried to break it up. And uh, as you can see, he didn't get the nose. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> there's another moment. Do we see uh, well, Mick getting set up there? Well, that was the yeah. first. We saw the kick-off and we saw the very first line out. It was an attempted penalty goal. Sure this that is well. that missed and this is the result of the penalty kick and the 22 out. Oh, no. So that's the first three minutes of the game. Oh. I always tell my children never to start a fight. <laughs> well, Mike Burton, I'm sure the first Englishman to be sent from the football field in a test match. So he has to live with that, but take a look at this high and elbow right, right, right to the face. Very nasty, very nasty. But now we know with rugby league got all their... Well, um, I can't believe that Mick's still mingling in rugby.